Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and welcome to who knows what I'm going to do today. <laughs> this is supposed to be our Tag Along Tuesday. I don't think I'm going to make tags today. I'm going to make some pockets because I need pockets. And I've got tons of book pages that are laying around on my desk, and I thought we would make some book page, book page pockets. Say that ten times fast. So, I'm just going to lay some of these aside, and it doesn't really matter to me which way they go, because if I don't like it, I can cover it anyway. I think we're going to go this way, and it's late in the afternoon. I'm just going to make sure that's not going to crack. It is late in the afternoon. I have had one more day, I'm telling you. You will not find me on Facebook lately because somebody decided to steal my account <laughs> oh it's not funny at all but i spent all afternoon trying to re revive or refresh or find my account um i don't know why somebody would want my account so bad but they do so anyway, that I haven't got it recovered yet. I've got all kinds of messages into Facebook and security. I don't know what all. Anyway, they're supposed to be doing something. Who knows if they'll do anything at all. I don't know. You know, you can't contact anybody when you have problems with Facebook. It's just like you're, you're there on your own. You're just, you know, out there. So I sent them some information according to the little link that I got. <clears throat> and I'm hoping that, that I can get my account back. Because, yeah, I could set up another one. But I don't want to set up another one. I've had that one forever. And it's never been changed. I've got all kinds of photos and information on there that I don't want to lose. And, and I don't want anybody else to have it. I don't want those stupid hackers, I'll just say the word, stupid hackers to have it. It's mine and I want it back. That's what, that's what I say. It's mine and I want it back. Okay, so I'll quit pouting and uh, we'll get on with whatever we're going to do here. Like I said, I have no clue. I have, I've had that on my mind all afternoon and I've been... Working with that all afternoon, and I haven't even thought about doing a video. But then I thought, well, you didn't do a video yesterday, so you really need to get a video done. So that's kind of where I am, guys. If I seem a little down and out, I am down and out, but it's not. It's just because I've spent so much time fiddle putin with Facebook. <laughs> and yeah, it was fiddle putin too. <laughs> Like I said, they don't give you anywhere to call. So, you can't call and say, oh, my account has been hacked. Can you straighten all this out for me? Nah. They don't want to do that. So, I have done everything that they supposedly told me I needed to do. We'll see what happens. So, if you don't see me on Facebook for a few days, that's the reason why. Um, I am, I just folded this over so that we could have a full pocket instead of having to glue part of the pocket down. And I pulled that up just a little bit. So there we go. So that's going to be our pocket. This will be our flip. Now you can, you'll be able to flip it like this. Or if you want to like this so whichever side you put it on you'll be able to flip it like that um, 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 um i think i'm just gonna round these corners this is not gonna be earth shattering or anything like that but right now all i have in my this is all i have in my brain you know my brain's fried for the day so you guys will have to just i'm sorry uh, someone sent me this beautiful pack of washi tape I didn't have any of these so I think I might use some of these thank you so much they also sent me some 
charms. There's the heart charms and then all those charms. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I think I'm going to use some of this if I can find an end to it. There we go. So I don't know. This, this may turn out to be a total disaster video. But we'll just do what we can do. I do like the lace on there, but the lace kind of blended in a little bit too much. So I'm actually going to use that washi as the bottom portion there. So what are you guys doing? Have y'all had problems with Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I'm telling you. Oh, I hope not. It is a pain in the derriere. It is a pain. And I thought I might. Someone sent me these too. Thank you so much. I am so thankful for everything I get. And I try to use some of everything. I may not use it right immediately. Like I am these. But I will use it. Believe me. It's just certain things I can use certain things on. So did that make any sense? That didn't make any sense at all, did it? Certain things I can use certain things on. And then I thought, I know this is like an eclectic mess because it's all different colors, but I don't have any of these that are tall enough. I like tall flowers. And these are not really tall, tall. These are just some flowers that someone sent me last year, so um, not anything that I have purchased. But see, I want something big on there. So I'm going to put that. It, it is eclectic. It is, you know, all different colors, but I don't really care. I'll still use it. To me, it doesn't matter. I, I, sometimes I think it's nicer if it doesn't match up <clears throat> than if things blend together. That's just my thinking anyway. I may be thinking completely wrong. Trim that little piece off right there. Okay. I like that. I don't mind that at all. Okay. Now, since this is going to be a flip, we can also decorate this side. So, what would you suggest we put on this side? Just put a piece of this. And yes, I did tear a butterfly in half. He's just, he's out there. He's just flying into the scene. Uh-oh. I left my computer on. Sorry about that. It's going to ding a little bit here and there. Okay. Now, let's see. I want a focal point on there, but I'm not sure what I want. I'd like to have a flower that's already cut out, so I don't have to cut one out. Uh, that's okay. I need to cut more flowers out. I'm down to the bare minimum. I think I like that one better. It is just hard for me to get time to fussy cut. I love all kinds of fussy cut items, but I've got a whole box full of things over there that need to be fussy cut, and I just don't have time to do it. And especially on days like today when I think, oh, I'm, I'm running ahead, I'm getting things done ahead, and then all of a sudden, er, screeching halt when I got the notification that my Facebook had been taken away from me. Not hacked. Oh, no, not hacked. Completely taken away. So if you see a post from me in the next 48 hours, it is not me. Don't, don't go there. Don't click on it. Don't do anything. It's not me. Because I can't get on. Somebody stole me. That's what I, that's what I told it. Brandon. I said, oh Lord, somebody stole me. He said, yep, I think they did. He tried his best to help me figure everything out, but, you know, it was just, I mean, you just don't have anybody to contact when things like that happen. 
<clears throat> and I'm not one to give up on something. I'm not one to say, oh, well, I'll just start all over. Nah, that's not me. If I can't have what I originally had back, then I don't want it. <laughs> I know, that sounds mean, doesn't it? No, it's just the way I am. I want what I set up many, many years ago. Goodness, it's probably been... My little niece was maybe six and she's already served in the war so that tells you how many years ago when Facebook first started I'm gonna put something right there to <clears throat> kind of reinforce that when Facebook first started I was like one of the first people to have a Facebook account so that tells you how many years ago you can look up and see how old facebook is and that's how old my account is never been taken away from me before but this time they did a very good job i guess well i think they did a very poor job but anyway they got it there we go i like that and we'll put it in the journal just let's say this is the journal page if we want it to flip like this we can glue this down and then flip like that and we'll have a pocket oh no we won't have a pocket we'll have a pocket up here Edith <laughs> I didn't leave the pocket here I left it up here you can leave it either place so it'll flip like that or you could put it on the edge of a page like this and it would just flip up you'll have a pocket up here and then that would be on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little pull in the top here. Because if I don't, I will forget that that's a pocket. Just like I did. Okay, let's lay that one aside. That one will save because it's actually... Oh, these are some very old pictures. I don't want to... I don't want to use these, but I might use this. Your book of agriculture, 1958. Wow. Okay. Now, if you want your little flap to be on this side, then just fold it this way. But I'm going to fold my little piece up first. And I would really like to see that 1958, but I'm not going to be able to see it on there. That's okay. We'll see it on another one. Fold that over. And then I'm just going to fold that like that. And I think I've got two pages here. Let's see. Yep, I do. Our Wealth of Land Resources. Okay. So there is that. Ooh, this smells like an old, old book. It doesn't smell bad. It just smells like... When you're in school and you went to the library, how the books smelled in there, that's what this smells like. Yum. I like that smell. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to go ahead and round these corners. I don't know why, just because I want them rounded, I guess. <sighs> did I glue that down? Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I didn't. You guys are supposed to remind me to glue that down. I shouldn't have even tried anything today. This is I'm just like batting a thousand. Okay. There we go. So our pocket will be up here. I'm gonna go ahead and punch the little pull. And then I'm going to ink around mine. These are some of the simplest pockets, but I think they're so cute because you're using your old book pages and you're using some of your ephemera. And I just like that kind of thing. All right, let's see what we want to do with this. I know I have scraps. I'm just going to see if I've got any that I want to use. Oh, I might use that one. Just use a piece of it. I 
I mean, after all, who would want to be me? Ugh. Oh, some days I don't even want to be me. Okay, I'm going to put that like that. Like that. And then I'm going to use some of these small ones. I know they're little and they're not tall enough, but if I don't use them now, I don't know when I'll use them, so I might as well use them, right? Not yellow, though. Pink? I don't know. I'm not... Uh, I'm not liking it. So let's look in here. I don't mind that. Right there. It's already got a little piece across the bottom. Just made for me. I get so upset when things like that happen. And I shouldn't, I know, because it's just a fact of life. But I just get very upset and then I end up, I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't help a thing that I get so upset. It just makes me feel horrible afterwards. So I don't even know why I do it. But I hate thieves. I hate thieves. And yes, hate. I know that's a strong word. And I just used it. But I hate thieves. If you can't get out and work for a living, don't take something that don't belong to you. And don't take my stuff that I have worked myself to death for all my years. Okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I know y'all, you guys are tired of me being on my soapbox. Off my soapbox. Just so you know. Okay, we're going to put a label up here, I think. I will try to be better through the rest of the video. I've got so much stuff on my desk, I can't even see where my desk is. Does anybody know what color it is? I didn't even clean it off when I started to do the video. Normally, I do, but I just, I didn't have the heart. Just did not have the heart to tackle it. I like that. And now we can do this side because we're going to have a double-sided. Let's see what else we might have in here that we want to use. use that and let's tear this one the other way all right we need to tear it right down through there so just scraps nothing no rocket science no Ooh, I've never seen that before in my life. None of that. May not be very entertaining for you, but I did want to pop on and just let you guys know that I miss you when I'm, you're not here, and I hope you miss me when I'm not here. And I needed to talk. So when I need to talk, I come to you guys because I don't have anybody else to talk to. I mean, Brandon listens to me, but, you know, he only listens so far, and then he's like, okay, I gotta go home now. <clears throat> Bless his heart, he don't need to, I don't need to lay too much on him. He's got enough on his plate. All right, I think I'm gonna use a little of this washi. I know I'm using washi washi, but I love it, love it. This is just some really pretty washi. And, of course, it's got my butterflies on it, so, you know. Isn't that pretty? And then I think we might be able to use some purple. Purple flowers. And I might actually use two. 
make a little garden here. Let's use three if we're going to use any. We'll balance it out a little bit. Oh, I don't think I have another purple. Let's see. What about we just do this little purple, baby? Hello, little baby. That's a little baby. Let's put them like that. And I'm going to cut a little of this stem off. Just make it a little shorter. And then we'll put that one there. And then this one needs to be trimmed a little bit too. Okay, let's do that. So Tag Along Tuesday has turned into Edith Crying Tuesday. Crying, crying. It's like having my sucker stole from me when I was in the second grade. I mean, I didn't like that girl anymore. She stole my sucker. Took it right out of my mouth. And that's the first sucker I had had in a long time. Oh, me. I am crazy, people. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Okay. A label, maybe? Yep. Maybe. Oh, I like that one. It's got that little bit of purple in it. It's got a stamp in there, so we're going to do that. There we go. There's another. Oops. I got that going over a little bit too far. We'll trim it. Okay. There's another one. And let's see which one. Now, you don't have to do this with book pages. You can do it with whatever pages you have. I just happen to have an abundance of book pages right now, and I wanted to use them. Ooh, this one's 1905. Mmm, that smells good. That's, now, this is probably going to crack. If it does, we're going to put washi on it. Yes, I can tell by the way it's folding already that it's going to crack. See, I'll show you. See? <laughs> That's okay. If all you have is books that have, that are old and that will crack, use washi. It will work. We're just going to put a piece of washi down through there. And wrap it around. So don't throw those old book pages away that the pages are cracked. Don't throw them away. Use them. Put a piece down through there. Now we want to fold up here. And of course this is going to crack too. So... There again, we're going to put washi. I may use a different one. Let's use this one. There it is right there. So cracked pages, no problem. I love these old book pages. Now I'm not going to try to fold it again here like we did the others. We will just, well, I think I'm going to have to, or let's see, I'm going to trim a little of that off, I think. Reason being is I put my other little fold a little bit further down so I didn't want to have to try to change everything since I've already got my washi on there. And see, I don't mind that. 
I don't mind that at all. I think it adds character to your pocket page. All right, let's glue this down. Oh, I think I want, I think I want it the other way. Look at that. I want it to, I want to see that 1905. So let's just fold it back that way. Now we've got that with that 1905 there. And I don't think I'm going to put anything over that. So let's glue this down. like that those little frayed edges up there <laughs> I love that okay Let's see what we want to do here nope that doesn't work for me what about this nope. so what about a big fern we could put that fern on there and still leave our 1905 showing. Uh, maybe a little piece of this. Ooh, those don't tear very easy. There we go. Now, I think this is, a, oh, come out. I think this is a sticker. I think. Oh, I gotta hurry up and get out of this chair. I've been sitting in this chair a long time and I can tell it. It is a sticker, okay. I just wasn't opening it the right way, I guess. Do it that way. Ooh, do that. Rough that up. Pretty. Okay, and then I think all it needs now is just maybe a little label right there. And that will be finished. Very, very simple. Nope, that's too big. Same color. Let's do a little Tim Holtz number labels. These are our number strips from Tim Holtz. I think we still have plenty of those, I believe. That's cute. And let's do this side. And I don't think I'm going to cover up this. Some of the book pages I cover, some of them I don't, simply because some of them I like the looks of, and then some of them I want to add a little bit of something to them. So it just depends. Oh, look at that. It just says hair. A little rabbit. Oh, here's a cutie. Let's put that one on there. I love these big stamps. I don't know who sent them or where they got them, but I love them. And I like that they're almost see-through because you can see the writing and things underneath. Okay, now we'll put a little something here. Oh, what about some tulips? I think we'll put those over this way. Now, as you can see, I don't take a ton of time on thinking. 
stuff and whatnot. You know, is, is this going to go right? Is that going to look right? Is this going to match? Is this... I don't take a ton of time with that because the way I look at it, this is your creation. So whatever pops into your mind, to me, that's good. That's going to be right. So there's another. Don't take a ton of time with it. Usually when you overthink it is when you do it wrong it's when you and i won't say do it wrong but it's when you um you overthink it so therefore you can't get it like you want it you just keep putting something down and taking something up putting something down and taking something up and it never gets to, you never get satisfied with it i guess that's what i'm trying to say oh that's another cracky let's don't do another cracky because i don't want to um i don't want to do more washi right this minute now this one is one that i played around with used some stamps on uh wash some stamps off on that kind of thing and yes i use it i love the top of it the way it's all frayed and all of that and we're just going to enhance that a little bit by putting some ink on it rough it up even more So nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. Ooh. So I need everybody to write Facebook and say, please put Edith back on. Please put Edith back <laughs> I don't think they, I don't even think they got a place that you can ride them. I'm just kidding. Oh, Lordy. I told you I was going to forget about it, didn't I? You know I can't forget about it. <laughs> oh, I can't use that guy. He's an owl. That's pretty. It's Christmas. Oh, I like that. I like the mushroom. Now, I think down here at the bottom, all we're going to do, I love these. These have got little flower pots on them. How cute. I'll have you fingernails to get these up with. Cute. I'm just going to wrap that around. All right, let's see if we've got some kind of plant that we can put on there that would actually work okay with that mushroom. That one's, see, now I find a tall one, and I don't really want a tall one right now. Oh, I kind of like that. That's a, what is that, an Easter lily? No, 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 it's got, it's got that red on the bottom. I don't want to do that. I have an, an Easter lily out in my front yard that I got from my mother's funeral and that thing will only bloom on the first of June or around the first week or second week of June, somewhere around the first part of June. And that June the 1st was her birthday and then she passed away on june the 19th so and that's the only time that it will bloom it will not bloom any other time of the year i don't know that looks a little craziness but i think i like it i think it's gonna work it may not be your style but my style is kind of whatever goes I don't think anything has to be matchy matchy. Let's use a number up here, maybe. And I'm certainly not going to sit here for three or four hours and work on one pocket because I can't decide what I want to put on there. No. You know that's not me. Never has been. 
the, th the way I look at it, I did this. If when I start to put this in a journal, I don't particularly like it, I'll cover it. I'll just cover it up and put something else on it. So when I'm making it, I don't consider it being made for a lifetime. I consider it being made and then if I'm not particularly crazy about it when I put it in the journal or it doesn't match anything in the journal, then I'll just put something else on it. It's not, you know, you're not committed to any particular thing on here. You can always change your mind. All right, let's go get away from that. See what else we got here. You know, because a lot of times when I put things like this in my journal, it doesn't even match my journal. So then I'll think, oh, well, I need to redo because that doesn't match my journal. So I may put another layer or something on it, or I may do something completely different. Just all depends. I want a little bit of music paid. That's what I'm looking for. See if I've got any. There's a little bit right there. Throw it over there. Throw it over there. Oh, and this is a nice crumply piece too. Yeah, see I like the way the darker music page helps bring that flower out. Prob this is a very thin paper. I probably should use my glue on here, but I'm not. My glue stick, I was trying to say. Oops, don't stick to me. Stick to the page. I like that. Yeah, I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Now, I do want a little piece of washi down here at the bottom. I mean, after all, we don't want our flower floating away, do we? That's just my thing. It, it doesn't mean anything. Some people say, well, what does that mean? I don't know what it means. It doesn't mean anything. It's just my thing okay all right i think since it's so late and it is getting very dark and i haven't had any supper yet that's four and i think they're very cute uh you may say oh they're very wild but <laughs> i think they're cute i will definitely use them in journals i love uh, book page pockets so this is just a good way to make a pocket flip out for your journal quick and easy and then you can just make them up and not even decorate them if you want to and decorate them when you put them in your journals just have a little stack of them when you start making your journals then just tuck some in and decorate them then all right guys that is it for this video i will talk to you tomorrow hopefully i'll be in a lot better mood <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later Bye bye